Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your Brevo account and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you add an admin or a team member into your Brevo account? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, a real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to add an admin into your Brevo account anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you probably have a few VAs or assistants that help you out with your accounts. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your Brevo dashboard. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I've already logged into my Brevo account and this is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to add an admin or some sort of a team member into your account, what you're going to do is click on your name here on the top right. Once you do that, you're going to see a drop down menu and you want to click on users. It looks like two little people next to it. All right. Once you do that, you're going to see all of the admins and users you have in your account. You can see this account is just me. However, in order to add an admin, you want to click on this black add users button here on the top right. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to want to go ahead and enter in their email address here. Make sure you use the correct email because they will receive an email inviting them to become an admin for your Brevo account. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in their email and then click on continue here on the bottom right. Okay. So here you get to choose the permissions that you want your admin to get access to. So by default, it's going to be full permissions. So they're going to get all general features, user APIs, company profile management, contact management. However, they will not get access to these features. If you want to pick and choose what kind of permissions you want your admin to have, go ahead and click on custom permissions and then you can go ahead and go through and just check off the ones you want them to have access to. So for me, I'll go ahead and do contacts. Okay. So once you've gone through this big list, go ahead and just scroll to the bottom and click on continue. Okay. Next it brings you to the checkout screen. So if there's a cost involved, it's going to be listed here for me. My plan includes 10 users. So I'm going to click on send the invitation now. Okay. Quick second later, the page refreshes. Now you can see I have two users. So I'm just waiting for this admin to accept access. Once they do that, it will say active right here next to their name. So so there you have it guys. If you're wondering how to add an admin or a team member into your Brevo account, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.